Hello, James here. Um, just finished my rapid strike wiring, so while the blaster is open, I thought I'll use this opportunity to talk a little bit about the two different ways of three micro switch rapid strike build. So, in the usual way, um, the cycling action works like this. So as you can see, it cycles very cleanly and the pusher is fully retracted when you let go of the trigger. And the way it achieves that is here, this micro switch for the main trigger. Um, the normally closed leg is wired up to this micro switch here to the common leg. So what happens is when you let go of this trigger, the electricity flows here automatically and then this micro switch alone decides the pusher pusher behavior when the trigger is not pressed. So when the pusher is anywhere but fully retracted, this micro switch is not engaged and electricity continues to flow into the pusher motor despite this trigger being off. But when it is fully retracted and it engages the micro switch, it dynamically breaks, breaks the motor and then the pusher stops here. So that's the old way of wiring a three micro switch rapid strike. But um, uh, people have said that there is a fatal flaw to this. If for any reason the pusher does not fully retract and engage the micro switch, you'll get a runaway rapid strike. So um, some of the ways we can see that fail is if the pusher gets here and there's something stuck here, like a, a, a magazine that's a bit out of shape, and it pushes against that, it can't go any further and it can't go back, the motor would just stall and then you, it can even violently it just push yourself out of the shell or if say this micro switch this arm here is bent or for any reason does not engage cleanly then it doesn't dynamically break at the end of this cycle and it just keep pushing so to in order to combat this problem the new way of micro, wiring up a three trigger micro switch is like this okay so if you look at how it behaves now You notice how sometimes um, the pusher does retract fully at the end of the cycle, but sometimes it sticks out like this. And the reason why that happened is what we basically did here is we cut the wire from the normally closed to the common here. So this trigger now does actually control the, the electricity going to this pusher motor. When it's not pressed, um, nothing flows to here. So this actually um, is not is not running. However, um, it will coast under its own momentum and if it does hit this micro switch at the end, uh, this still closes and dynamically break the pusher. So more likely than not, um, you will get the pusher fully retracted, but under some circumstances, uh, if you have a very heavy torque motor and I have one here, this is a Shark 40K swap with rare earth magnet. If, if say for example, it just left here and then you let go of the trigger, it kind of goes under its own momentum, gets to fully retract and it comes back maybe a little bit and then just stops there. So it does not cycle as cleanly as the old build, but it does let you have greater control over the pusher. If something goes wrong here and it gets stuck here, you just let go of this, the main trigger and then the pusher will stop. So um, I did not know which behavior I prefer, while I was building this, so I rigged up this little switch inside so I can toggle between the two behavior. And um, I think I'll go for the old way. Thank you for watching.